Hello everyone and welcome back to the Football Manager 2020 simulation of Euro 2020 and the game that we've got for you today is Norway versus Georgia and following Spain's 3-1 victory over Croatia yesterday we have a golden opportunity here for Norway to get a result against Georgia. A draw will do to put them second, a win obviously as expected, will keep them second. Spain can't be caught in at nine points. So a draw or a win will be fine for Norway. But let's jump into the game, show the teams and see how this progresses. And 4-4-2 four, four, for Norway on the left. Well, 4-4-2 four, four, for both teams. But Norway on the left, we'll start with them. Justine in goal. El Abdullawi at right back. Arjo Nortvi at centre back with Melling at Left back, El Yanusi, Odegaard, Burge, and Moadali in their four man midfield with Josh King and Erling Haaland up front. And we've not seen too much from him this tournament so far. We hope we can see it today as Makaritze in goal for Georgia with Kakabadze, Kavakvela, Girigolava, Lakavelani in their back line with. Papunashvili, Chakavetze, Kiteshavili, and Yano in their four man midfield. Kivitala and Mekalitza are up front for the Georgians. And even though this might be, well, this is the last game that Georgia will play in this tournament, I feel like my pronunciation of Georgian names is getting better. But hopefully, <laughs> I won't have to. Keep on going through them because they're a little bit of a mouthful for me to say. But Moadali swings in the ball. Odegaard is brought down and the referee has blown the whistle. He's talking to the fourth official, but yeah, definite penalty in Harland on the ball. And he buries that into the bottom corner. And with four minutes on the clock, Harland gets the goal. And it's Norway 1, Georgia 0. We'll see that penalty again. Buries it in the bottom corner. Really, really good penalty that. And it's Norway lead early on here. As expected, but... El Yanusi wins that. Now it's Josh King into Highlands. Can he use his pace to get beyond the last man? He goes up wide into Odegaard. Great block, Burge, and really should have got that on target at least. Really good opportunity there for Sander Burge to get the goal to double the lead for Norway as El Yanusi picks up the ball. Now El Abdullawi. Back to Odegaard. El Yanusi now. Into the bottom corner, and we're ten, not even 10 minutes in, and it's Norway to Georgia nil, and this could be an absolute landslide at this point. Norway are meaning business here. They knew that if Georgia were going to win, then it would have to come down on goal difference. So they're, going, they're really, really going for it because obviously this and the game yesterday were played, well, in the game time, were played at the same time. So Norway weren't to know that Croatia were beaten. Obviously, as the goals come in, you, the table will update. But from the way that I've managed to navigate the what well, how to view these games, it becomes a lot easier to do it one by one rather than doing two games at the same time. But yeah, we're getting some chances here for both sides as Georgia have created a number of opportunities here, but most of them from distance. As Mailing puts a long ball up, Harlan flicks it on. Now Josh King picks it up. It's got Haaland surging forward as Monodali comes inside. He's found El Yanusi's header and that's wide of the post. Goal kick for Georgia and Norway doing a really good job on the counter attack but against this Georgia team who have really struggled in this tournament. Obviously they've gone against three big teams as Haaland doubles his tally in the game. Keeper came out for that but absolutely missed it. Monodali's corner and we can see that comes in. Highland in at the back post. Keepers 
just, Akiba didn't even put his hands up. He just came out, stumbled, and Haaland just nodded out into the empty net. Pretty, <laughs> pretty easy goal for Haaland there. He's not going to miss that, given the quality of him. But Norway 3, Georgia nil. is a mistake by Justin as Yano's effort is wide at the near post. Not a great finish there from the winger. But you can see there, Norway getting some goal difference back from that defeat against Spain. And they're looking they're looking good here. Berg into Odegaard. And Berg on the ball once more. Odegaard, what can he do from here? He plays it. Two centre midfielders just exchanging passes now. It's Moira Dali finds Mele. And he's brought that back into Haaland. Now Moira Dali again. Burj on the ball into El Yanusi. And he's doubled his tally now as well. Norway 4, Georgia 0. And we're 41 in minutes into this game. And Makaritse in that goal has had an absolute nightmare today. As Moira Dali into Burj. Now El Yanusi and he's just I don't even know what that was. He almost he almost looked like he slipped on some banana peel there. And um, we're just checking for offsides. No, it's definitely onside. And look at that. It's just awful goalkeeping that. As Norway are just running away with this now. We could be in for potentially the biggest result in the competition so far. As Yano keeps that in. And can Georgia get some pride here? He's still got the ball, the winger, into Chakavetze. Now, Kivitali, Chakavetze on the edge of the box, saved by Yastin, and El Abdullawi clears that out for a corner kick. Bottom highlight said that Norway have abandoned their defensive stance. I don't think they've been very defensive today. Conceded a number of opportunities, but four shots on target. Four goals, well, five shots on target now, but it was four from four as King on the ball once more. Erling Haaland wants a hat trick, so does El Yanusi who comes inside. King still on the ball, and that's gone wide. Referee did play advantage there, but couldn't find the back of the net as Jano finds Lacavellani. Now, Chakavetse and Georgia. Starting to get a little bit of possession here towards the end of the first half. Can they claw a consolation goal back? The ball comes forward. And they do get that. It's Mekaditse. Mekaditse. Let's go with that. Um, ball comes forward. Headed on. Defence were asleep. And it's just poked that into the bottom corner. Route 1 football from Georgia paid off and going into half time it's Norway 4, Georgia 1 and what a highlight field first half this is. Um, Makaritze in goals having an absolute nightmare. El Yunusi's got two goals, Haaland's got two goals and Norway looking very good here. Norway looking very very good and you know... <laughs> They have all the chance in the world in this second half, which starts now, to bag a few more goals, get that goal difference up. Obviously, we know it's not really going to make a difference. They're going to finish second either way, but it'll be nice for them to just get an absolute goal fest in here. We like to see some goals, and we're getting that today as Dali with a free kick puts it in. Highland free header. And the goalkeeper came out for that again. All Haaland had to do was get that on target. And he didn't. And I think that would have been the first hat-trick in the tournament. But Meiling picks up the ball. And it's Nordvik. All the way back to Justine. And the long ball forwards is poor. And that's back to Georgia now. Now can Georgia essentially perform a miracle here and get back into this game it's unlikely but Norway are giving away a lot of the ball Arja now into Sander Birch ball forward Haaland gets onto it what can he do from here 
Kavok Vela picks up the ball. Great tackle from the defender. As Harlan picks up the loose ball. And that's a poor effort there from Harland. Really could have done better there. That's El Abdullawi into El Yanusi. El Abdullawi once more. Odegaard. Out wide to Mailing. He's got some options in the box. Monodali, Harland, Sanderberg. Good save there by Makaritze. Didn't let that one go in. Really good save from Sanderberg's driven effort as Monodali puts the ball in. It's headed out. And Makaritze just sort of trying to make amends for his first half performance here. But the damage has already been done. You can see on the table there. It's going to be tough for Croatia to get back into this game. With, well, get back into the tournament with only three points. It's pretty low. And they're going to rely on a lot of luck if they want to get through as one of the best placed third place teams. As not Norvik on the ball... It's Norway once more with 20 minutes left on the clock. This has been an absolutely action packed game. As Gould Branson into Burge. Now, that's not the best ball, but Odegaard picks it up. And swung out, out wide to El Abdullawi. Now, El Yanusi. What can do from here? He's gone for his hat trick and it's been tipped wide. As Abu Jania comes on for Georgia. Odegaard now with the free with corner kick even. Burge picks that up. Now Odegaard once more. Sander Burge, El Yanusi into Burge and that's wide. He's had a few efforts from distance, Sander Burge has, but he's just not been able to convert any of them. Some of them have been you know, really, really good, but they just couldn't find the back of the net. As Odegaard on the ball once more. Got just over 10 minutes left of this game. El Abdullawi now into El Yanusi. Now King. Now Evian. Melling. Evian on the ball. Now Jakovace clears and... Abu Jania, King tackles the ball. He's got a couple of players ahead of him. A deep run there from Good Branson. It's found. What can do from here? And that's tipped over the bar by Makaritze, who's been very, very, been almost a different player in the second half. But again, as mentioned earlier, the damage was already done. Evian, can he keep that in? He does, but it's been given away. And got a couple of minutes left into stoppage time of three minutes left on this game, and that's quickly gone away. As only seconds remain, and this is gonna be the last chance of the game. As Evian picks up the ball, he's got Harland ahead of him. Can Harland get the hat trick that he's been looking for? King now on the ball, and that's been blocked, and that's full time. Norway 4, Georgia 1. Dominant win from Norway, and we expected that. We're now going to have to see if Croatia can get through as a best place, third place team. It will be difficult with only three points, but we've seen some pretty poor performances so far in some of these games. But that's going to be it for this episode. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future episodes and make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss a video. And I will see you tomorrow for the penultimate game of the group stage. Thank you.